So the last thing I want to end with is I shared a lot of bad information, to be honest with you, because I, I have, have heard a lot of bad information, and I'm going to share more of it as next month and so forth, because I have a lot of things. I didn't even talk about, you know, the budget and, you know, and our debt and so forth. I have lots of information I'm going to share with you in the next uh, month and so forth, and maybe in the middle, okay? But moving forward, I actually go back to the basics. This country was formed by a group of men and, and, and people that really believed in the, the, the significant message of Jesus Christ. Some of them were not believers. Some of them were kind of in the middle. Some of them were true believers. But all of them agreed that true belief in Jesus Christ and the message of Jesus is the, is the best foundation for this country. And you can see that represented very clearly in, you know, in, our, in, in all our documents that, that, that founded this nation. And so going back to the basics, we are in a place today that is a disastrous inside out. We have people that actually devouring our country from within. There is people stabbing us in the back every single day. There is people are deceiving us, lying to us, doing everything to us, and not only to us, but to the rest of the world. I believe that the hope is for us to unite under the message of Jesus Christ once again. Whether you are a believer or not, we have to come to agreement that this is the saving power of this nation and saving power for all of us. And I truly believe that if we get united at the church together, things will change big, big time. And we are playing a big role, or not big role, we are trying to play our role at, 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 at Global Faith. We're trying to bring a message that unite the church together and to highlight those who are stabbing the church in the back. We are putting those seven classes uh, very soon at, you know, at, at different churches and so forth. So pay attention to that. So what I encourage you to do two things and I let you go with, okay? The first one is there is a lot of people out there who can be conservative and believe the same thing you do or 80, 90% of what you believe to, to try to reach out to them, try to bring them into the fold or try to speak to them about the truth and what's going on. And the biggest thing of all, try to get to your church and to strengthen your church by financial help, by actually stronger message, by anything that will unite the, the, our church and find out the churches that are not a good apple and try to call them out and try to make, make sure that the people who goes to those churches knows that those churches are not representation of Jesus Christ and trying to deny Jesus uh, by, by, by these guys, okay? And I leave you this, with this message and we'll hopefully see you next week. I'm gonna be in, in Israel. So next month, I will be fresh out of Israel three days into the United States. So, um, you know, I have lots to share and looking forward to see all of you and even more. And the weather will be warmer, I believe that, you know, March. It, it's iffy in Nebraska, but I hope it will be warmer, okay? Thank you very much, and, you. and I will take some questions Amen. afterwards.